manufacturing of bulk and sterile today's topic okay now these are the points that will help us to understand this topic in a very simple way point number one is definition here we'll talk about the title what is actually title standing for or what actually title means then we'll talk about the reasons of uh, manufacturing of bulk and sterile then we'll talk about the benefits then we'll talk about the system of controlling manufacturing of bulk and sterile now what is the system through which manufacturing of bulk and sterile is actually controlled we'll talk about that system so let's get started from the very first point that is definition what is manufacturing of bulk and sterile very simple this is actually the in-house preparation of uh, sterile and non-sterile products now what this statement actually means very simple we have house hospital where there is a pharmacy in which there is actually preparation being done now that preparation is actually of two types some preparations uh, need sterility and uh, some preparations don't need sterility now what is sterility to free any material from the microorganisms okay that is called as sterility so some preparations that need sterility are actually placed in sterile sterile preparations and those that don't need they are placed in non sterile preparations so we have actually in house preparations of two types sterile non sterile now this entire sentence the in house preparation of sterile and non sterile uh, materials or equipments or formulations or drugs or medicines or medications you can use any term this is actually called as manufacturing of bulk and sterile now what is the manufacturing of bulk and sterile very simple it is actually in house preparation of sterile and non sterile products the only sentence for both now these are actually two topics merged together topic number 1 manufacturing of bulk products or formulations and another topic is manufacturing of sterile formulations now why these are merged in some textbooks and uh, according to some teachers and according to some professors blah 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 means these two other topics merged together what is the reason behind reason behind is the steps while explaining the topic is very easy and same like or you can say similar but there is just a single difference that is of a sterile formulation or sterile preparation in the sterile formulation or sterile preparation we are just using sterile area then the entire steps are actually same for this topic also so that's why these topics are merged in some textbooks or being merged by some professors well let's get started from the very first point once again uh, that is manufacturing of bulk and sterile what is the definition very simple this is actually in house preparation of sterile and non sterile products inside the house we prepare two types of the products sterile and non sterile now let's come towards the next point what is the reason of preparing sterile and non sterile products very simple sometimes commercially we don't have uh, drugs available so when commercially a drug is not available so then we actually go for or we go through this sterile and non sterile formulation you can say we then go through in house preparation we prepare that drug in the house now what is the reason behind once again the question arises what is the reason behind the drug is not available very simple sometimes we need a modified formulation according to the need of the patient so according to the need of the patient when we use when we are actually in search of such kind of drug or medication that is not available in the uh, market or commercially that is not prepared so for that sake we have just one two three four five patients we don't have the entire community involved in particular disease so for that we don't need to produce or uh, make a drug commercially or in, in the industry so then for that it is must the drug should be prepared in the house because it is the problem of the house not of the entire community or the entire population got so for that we need a modified formulation so for the modified formulation what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to modify the drug we it is actually sometimes we add two drugs we decrease the concentration increase the concentration and etc so in short we need a modified drug so for that we are supposed to do in house preparation number 2 we need some sometimes uh, for a particular research we need uh, uh, some drugs consider that we need to modify drugs for research purposes so now again it is uh, for a kind of research okay it is not about the entire globe 
or the entire community, entire area. So for that sake, again, we are supposed to do in-house preparation, rather industrial preparation. So what is now uh, the main reason behind? Research here. So we got two reasons. Number one, commercially, some drugs are not available. And number two, we, do, uh, we are doing research. So for research purposes, again, we are supposed to do in-house preparations. So that's why these are the reasons behind in-house preparation. And then that's why we need in-house preparation. Now, what are the benefits? Very simple. Drug will be available for you if you are doing research or uh, if you are uh, providing a drug for a particular patient. And uh, then we have relationship. So like here, our, our health team is actually uh, somehow strengthened. There is a kind of relationship between buildup between uh, the physicians and uh, pharmacists. So these two can have a very close relation through this because the physician will ask for the formulation and then the particular pharmacist which is having such kind of skills that the responsible pharmacist will actually do the provide the formulation to the physician so like this they will have a kind of a relationship okay so it is actually having providing actually a kind of a relationship between the pharmacist and physician and uh, this is very important to have a collaborative mechanism or understandings among the physicians and pharmacists and etc so it is actually strengthening your healthcare system then we have system controlling manufacturing of bulk and steroid. Now, what is the system that is actually controlling? So, in this system, we actually have four, four uh, particular branches. Number one, manufacturing process control. From the initial to the final, the entire manufacturing process means we have materials, they are placing their manufacturing, and then their packaging, labeling, etc. So, this is the entire actually process. So, this process must be controlled next branch is qc control now here what we need is quality control tests for each and everything and each and every step from the raw products to the finished product we get raw materials then we uh, manage those raw materials under a system and that is of a, having kind of process so these are actually processed then these raw materials are processed then there are the, at the end there is a kind of production of the specific finished product which is you can say a kind of drug is actually synthesized then that is actually used for a particular purpose. So this is uh, actually a must for that. It means there must be proper check and balance. So tests should be done from the beginning, from the initial at the end. So this is actually the test mechanism. Here we are looking for what? For the entire process, here we are looking for the tests. Each step is then being tested, that whether it is uh, good or not, this is according to the quality or not. So quality is actually a kind of maintained here. Then we have budgetary control test. Uh, simple system this is actually a system that is maintained for the budgetary control now uh, in-house preparation there will be the, the use of economy in order to moderate the use of economy or uh, in order to uh, provide a particular direction to the economy so this is must the system is must this branch is must for the particular uh, manufacturing of bulk and steroid so here I told you people in the beginning that and for the manufacturing of bulk and steroid we have a system and there are the branches now this branch budgetary control is uh, providing a kind of support to the economic system of the in-house preparations. Here what we do is we do planning for the manufacturing process that what will be the cost of the entire manufacturing process. We Here we look for the direct costs and indirect costs. Direct is actually for the drugs like uh, raw materials and etc. Whereas indirect involves vehicles, uh, fuel, light, means etc. So this actually the indirect cost so here planning is done for the entire cost then we look for the capacity that what now in-house preparation uh, what is the capacity with us how much we can prepare in-house then we look for the personnel that what uh, how many people are actually required to accomplish the particular job then we go for the requirement of the material etc that uh, how much material is again required for the particular preparation so in short you can say budgetary control is providing a kind of support to the economic system of the in-house preparation or of the house so the economy of the house is actually maintained then here we talk about maintenance of equipments again this is the very system the very important part of the system uh, all parts are important and this is uh, actually the last part so this is also important regarding this system where we maintain the equipments that our equipments are actually functioning properly Equipments are actually being checked from the initial to the final every day they're checked or they're checked on a monthly basis 
or they are somehow engineers being placed for daily purposes that how our machine is actually performing the job. So here again, what we do? We maintain the job of equipment. So if equipment is okay, if this economic system is okay, if the product is actually synthesized according to the need, and again, if manufacturing process is in control, so what will happen at the end of the day? Very simple, our in-house preparation will be okay and good. So this is all about, and just one thing you must remember regarding manufacturing of bulk and steel is again, that is, uh, you must differentiate these two by one point, that is, for sterile preparation, we need sterile area. And rest of the points are just simple and equally can be used for both the topics. I told you in the beginning, these are two topics being merged together. So you must not feel confusion whenever you are asked. If you are asked about the bulk manufacturing, you must use the entire topic. Again, if you are asked about the sterile manufacturing, you must use this entire topic. All these headings can be used. And at the end, you will just add one point that is for the sterile preparations we need sterile area.